And we are back. This is Ruby, Volume 8, Chapter 12. Two more to go in the finale. And after the last episode, you know what, let's just dive right in, because before I give my usual I'm scared speech. Oh yeah, by the way, I'm scared. Oh god. It's fine. It's fine. Everything is not fine. Oh. Be ready for anything. We don't know what state Penny is in. If any of those brats have the nerve to come with her, we put them down immediately. Oh my the general God. gave his terms. No more games. <sighs> is there a problem? Just retracing the steps that led us here. <sighs> what is it, sir? Crow and Robin. They're in the academy hangar. Trying to stop the payload. Or just looking for a way out. Not going to happen. I've been waiting to take my shot at this, too. Oh my god, Harriet! But someone needs to stay here with the general. I'll stay. We lose the payload, we lose our leverage. She's right. Contain it. Winter, please. No, I know you have a plan and everything. I know you do. But just be careful. So, this course of action... I hope you're not going to try to talk me out of it. Oh no, she's gonna betray her of us. No, sir. I don't think that's possible. Oh, here we go. I didn't think you'd actually come alone. I expected at least some resistance from your friends. I don't want anyone else to die. I must open the vault. weird. Oh! Holy shit! And then you saw it! Drop Atlas either, but we've oh, all had to make some crap, that calls. was good. Go move to phase two, guys. She has to go to the vault. That's actually a risk we haven't considered. We've been so worried about keeping the vault closed that okay, so now we're gonna see what their plan is using what's inside the do stuff it. of creation. Maybe we could use it to save Penny and get everyone <clears throat> in Atlas and Mantle back to safety. Well, she'll never guess who I just heard from. <gasps> Winter? So, you're <clears throat> not arresting me? No. Ironwood's got to be stopped. I knew she had a plan. Then why did you hit me? Because <laughs> you were about to get killed if she I She saved your life. <laughs> What are you doing? What I should have done ages ago. Getting in touch with my sister. It's okay, Winter. We're, We're doing it now. now. And Crow and Robin. That was obvious. Speaking of help. So we've got people trapped in Atlas and Mantle that we can't evacuate unless we use the staff. Which is located inside the vault. If we open the vault, Penny terminates. If Ironwood gets wind of any of this, he blows up Mantle. There's something else to consider. 
Once the staff creates anything else, the city drops. Atlas has enough natural gravity dust to keep it from plummeting immediately, but... Okay. Well, nobody's going to want to be around when it touches down. Okay, then let's use the staff to teleport everyone to safety. Maybe even to another kingdom. We can't just wave it like a magic wand and make our problems go away. And we haven't even told you about... him. Who? The spirit and the staff. Like Jin. Okay. But, well, he's a character. He can build you anything, but only if you can explain to him how. Like any craftsman, he'll need blueprints. Some sort of reference. It'll help if we have real-world examples to show him. I've already gone through the city layouts for the SDC evacuation. <clears throat> Maybe I can help. There's still James and his bomb to consider. Oh, I've got a plan for that. So, that takes care of things. Well, one. we know the deal with James. Meanwhile, the real penny goes to the vault. What the hell? I blasted a hole through the bottom of Atlas, and I highly doubt they've had time for repairs. <clears throat> that should take you straight to it. Oh, we're just going right to the vault. Okay. All of that is the easy part. Yeah, this feels too easy. As soon as Penny opens the door, we go through, grab the stab, <clears throat> and stop her termination. Just hang in there, Penny. Okay? Just keep fighting, Penny. Floating city? A pedestrian. Hi, uh, Mr. Ambrosius. Uh, sir, listen, it's about our friend. She's <clears throat> dying. I'm going to go ahead and assume that you know it's against the rules for me to bring people back from the dead, so... That's not what we want. She's not your typical girl. She isn't. I I'd love to meet whoever did this. Ah, uh, I see. There's something eating away to her. I'm, I'm guessing you think you have some clever plan to save her. Just know, I will give you exactly what you asked for, and I don't want any complaining when it's not what you wanted. Okay. We brought her schematics. We want you to make a new version of her using her exact same robot parts. That was curiously worded, girl. An exact copy of her would include the virus. An exact copy of her without the virus would cease to exist the second you make something else. And we kind of want to keep her around longer than that. You've done your homework. We want you to create a new version of her using her existing robotic parts, taking the virus with them. Hmm. Okay, but if I take the robot parts out of her, <clears throat> that would leave... <sighs> Penny, the girl who's always been there underneath it. Yep. Hmm. You can't destroy. It's against the rules. Yep. But you wouldn't be destroying her. You'd be creating her. Her soul is who she is. The mechanical parts are just... extra. But a soul without a complete body, what would be left? I don't know. I guess you just have to get creative. Mm-hmm. So get to it. <laughs> I suppose I could do a little oh, add a touch up. But if I do that, how much of the old penny would be my work and how much would be her just coming up to the surface? This is all very exciting and very dangerous. Uh, I don't know what the results are going to be. Well, I we guess we'll find out. any other options. <clears throat> we believe in her. Then ready yourselves to witness my artistry!
Yes, John. Okay, okay. I guess that's the signal then. Seems like things are moving forward in the vault. Hopefully Penny is going to be okay. If Atlas is moving, we need to get word out before people panic. Meaning hurry. I know, I know. Okay, this should be, um... That did, uh... Something? You're live. Oh god. Everyone can see you. Oh crap. Oh! Uh, um, <clears throat> citizens of Atlas. Mantle. What we have to tell you is very important. Atlas is falling. But. <clears throat> oh my god. Wait, what happened? It's dead. The entire CCT. It just went down. And so did kingdom wide communications. How? The bigger question is. What do we do now? That boy said Atlas is falling. Is that true? Yes. We're using the staff to get everyone to safety. Salem can have the rubble. We'll all be long gone. Are you... Are you going to leave me here? Sure. No. When we're finished, we'll move both of you to safety. Oh, Winter. Thank you. I... Oh, don't thank me. It was Weiss's decision. Okay, well that worked. Ah, free to create then! No, oh, it's you guys again. Uh, We're not done with you yet. Ugh, fine. Let's try the quick version. Can you make a bunch of doorways in Atlas that open at a single spot in vacuo? Sure! I'll just need coordinates and specs for each door and explanation for bending space and time to account for the much greater traffic on one side and the single point of exit on the other. Okay, that's about what we expected. Mm. So, we need to funnel everybody through a central location first. You're going to have to tell me more about this central location for starters. Uh, where is it? Here. A place like these vaults. Wherever they are, they're not part of Remnant. Only accessible if you know the right way in. True. Seems like a safe enough place for thousands of refugees. You kids are either smarter or much more foolish than you realize. Okay. <sighs> I'm going to need a reference. Oh, we've got one. So I just seem to want to back you on now. Early. <clears throat> oh, that's pretty. This feels too easy, though. Like, there's no way we can go to back door this early. Can we? People enter from Atlas and Mantle on one side. Well, everything appears to be in order. You were quite thorough. Disappointingly so. So, it's done. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, and one last point of clarification about oh, this central location of yours. Do not fall. Okay. 
Excuse and me. with that dire warning. What happens if we fall? Fall like die or fall like fall actually fall? What happens if we fall? We did it. What now? We go to vacuo. There's no way. All of us. There's no way. It's too easy right now and too early. Everyone else probably. Oh, we've thought of everything. Oh! No, wait, does that mean she's going to thank you all? No. Mmm. Fuck. Okay. <sighs> Can I just say, it's nice to have an episode that wasn't so nerve-wracking. Like, I know I tend to be scared every episode, but this particular episode wasn't as nerve-wracking. Although it definitely leaves me thinking these last two episodes are going to be nerve-wracking. That statement, though, do not fall, foreshadowing. But did he mean fall like die? Like do not fall as in do not die or get hurt? Or fall as in literal fall? I feel like he meant do not fall like do not die. I could be wrong. But it feels too easy, like now we have a bunch of portals to go to vacuum, but it feels too early. Like uh, all like the innocent people and the civilians and everything, yeah, they'll probably go to va vacuum. But our teams, I feel like it's too early. And the ending, Cinder. So Cinder's gonna go to vacuum or try to go to vacuum. I don't know, I don't think so. I just, I feel like it's too easy and something's gonna fuck it all up. But I don't see Cinder going to vacuum just yet. We still, we have to have some kind of huge confrontations in these final two episodes. We have Cinder, we have Neo, we have everyone. We need to get these confrontations because I feel like it's all been building up to it. I don't know if Salem will come back yet. I feel like Salem is out for the count until next volume. If anything, she'll come back in the finale. But yeah, I feel like, okay, we have our plan. Oh my god, Penny. She's Penny now. She was always Penny, but... Just, oh my god. When, like, he made the new Penny and, like, she hugged Ruby and she was like... What was it, like, with something along the lines of... Does this always give you this warm feeling inside? And then she was like, I want more. It's so adorable. It's like Pinocchio. I'm a real girl now. Huh. But yeah, just that one line. Do not fall. I was confused at first, cause like I couldn't tell if he meant do not die or like literally do not fall. But I, I'm pretty. I feel like he meant do not fall, like do not die. But <laughs> that makes me worried now, cause like what's gonna happen? You can't just say that and not go through with it. Someone's gonna die or something. And I've been saying it all volume too that by the end someone's gonna die. As if I didn't have any, enough reason already to be scared, they just gave me another one. Yeah, I feel like these last two episodes... The next one is going to have all this build up to the finale, and the finale I feel like is going to be long. Like, definitely over 20 minutes, because the finales always tend to be over 20 minutes. But yeah, like I said, I feel like we have to get like these huge confrontations and maybe fights to, in the last two episodes. It's like now we have our plan, we got to the vault, we got the stuff of creation, we have a way to get everyone to vacuum now, safely, but we still have Cinder and Neo to worry about. I feel like what's gonna happen is next episode is mainly going to be focused on them just getting everyone out into vacuo and they'll mostly succeed they'll get all the civilians and everything to vacuo that'll, that'll succeed but before all the teams can cinder and neo are going to show up and they're going to fuck it all up so all the civilians they're going to go to vacuo but our teams they're going to be stuck cinder and neo are going to fuck it up the last minute and it's going to end there in the finale they go all out as for how it ends, don't ask, because I don't fucking know. Mm. 
I'm scared. I say this every fucking episode too. But I low key want Cinder versus Ruby. I've wanted this for a long time, but I've never gotten it. I've never even gotten them interacting. They interacted like once, and that was in volume two. And it was for like a brief moment. But other than that, Cinder and Ruby have like barely interacted. They haven't fought once. I want it. Plus, it'll likely be Cinder and Neo versus Ruby. Because Neo hates Ruby too. I swear to God, if this fucking volume ends with Ruby getting hurt, I still think she's gonna lose an eye. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I know I'm probably getting annoyed by this, but like, I feel like she's gonna lose an eye. Or just get badly hurt. The opening shot of the opening, or the ending shot of the opening boosts that even further. The shot of her sights on the ground, but she's nowhere to be seen. It makes me think she's not gonna, obviously she won't die, but it makes me think she'll get really badly hurt. And knowing Cinder, it's gonna be an eye for an eye, literally. That, and if anything, I feel like the cliffhanger of this volume, or the end credit scene, depending if we get them, get one, because we didn't get one last year, is gonna be like a summer cliffhanger, because they, this particular volume, they've been building up to this big summer reveal. We have to get it, right? I feel like that would be the cliffhanger. And they'd make us wait until fall slash winter. Man, I'd be pissed. <laughs> oh, speaking of winter, winter officially has defected from Ironwood's side, thank god. Oh my god, the fight scene. Between Emerald. I don't know why I didn't see it coming at first, but then they did it, and then the song. It was so, it was, it was short though, but it's okay. We'll get that in like summer, the full the full thing. But yeah, that fight scene was really good. Winter and Mero are officially on our teams now. Jacques, can we just leave him there? You know, it's fine. We can leave him there. Or no, no, but they said they're gonna get him somewhere safe or something. But yeah, even though I think all the civilians are going to vacuo. I just, I have a gut feeling, next episode, everyone goes to vacuo, but then before our teams can, Neo and Cinder are going to show up last minute, they're going to fuck it all up. And that's going to end there. The ending, the ending shot is going to be like them preparing to fight, and the finale is where they go all out. Literally, this is what I feel like is going to happen. And if I'm right, I'm so sorry. I apologize in advance. But yeah, that line do not fall. I'm scared. I, I, I'm just going to stop talking before I end up repeating myself. Anyway, that is Ruby, Volume 8, Chapter 12. I wonder what these last two episodes are going to be called. Because every episode of this volume has only been one word. This one was Creation. Oh, God. Watch the next one's like Death or something. Or Fall. Next one, next one's full, and then the finale, the finale should be like, <gasps> imagine the finale is called Summer. <laughs> nah, <laughs> that would give it away. Rose? <laughs> oh no, I'm grasping at straws here. But anyway, that is it for now. Be sure to let me know your thoughts in this episode and what your theories are for the final two episodes and what you think is going to happen. And I will see you guys next time.